Hello and welcome to my Xamarin Android video series where you will learn to develop Android applications in C Sharp. My name is Rodolfo Novello and in today's video I'd like to show you how to use the list view as a component of a regular activity. In a previous video we learned how to create a list activity which is comprised of only a list view. One of the main differences between an activity and a list activity is that a list activity is only a list view container, whereas an activity can contain a list view alongside any other components. In this video, we will learn how to create a more robust list for your business objects, where each row will not be limited to one row of text but a more complex entity with several rows and other view components like an image, for example. We will see what the activity's corresponding layout file looks like, as well as how to create the layout view for each row on the list. We will also learn how to populate each row and how to define the adapter that will bind our data model. So let's get started. Let's create a blank Android application. Let's call it List View Complex. And we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with the previous uh, example with List View Simple. And uh, we're going to go a little bit further. And I'm going to show you the differences. The first thing is was to create our services. Let's add a folder that we called services. And then we created a class that we called my services. And uh, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to cut and paste so you don't have to watch me do what we did in the previous video. So real quick, we have the object get my data. Let me see, and the, um, so real quick, we have the method get my data and the class that my data that defines what our data looks like. We have a property called name, one called description, the other one is the picture ID. We have not uh, imported the pictures yet, that's why we're getting this squiggly line here, so that is our next step. So we go to resources, we go to drawable, and uh, externally we're going to copy the files, the pictures, into the uh, the drawables folder and let's okay here is a good time to tell you one of the differences between a list uh, using a list view inside of a list adapter which we did in the previous example and um, uh, including a list view in a in the layout of our regular activity so in our case our acti uh, our activities is called main and uh, we want to include uh, text and a, a, a picture on top of the list view which you cannot do with the uh, list activity in the exam in the previous example so let's add those um, drawables including an extra picture that we're going to put so you can see the difference between a list adapter and a regular adapter using a list view. So right here in our resources drawable folder we paste the pictures that we want to use as you can see the uh, right here the pictures correspond right here 
the names of the pictures, picture zero, 00. So now that they are there, we need to go to our drawables folder and add them as existing items. So this is uh, add them to the to the solution actually. So we go to drawables and we include them all, including a an a headshot. Okay. Eventually, the squiggly line will go will go away when the uh, system has refreshed its uh, uh, pointers. Let's leave that alone for for now, and uh, let's go to the next step. We go now to our main activity. Actually, let me tell you one more thing. Um, the the difference, the reason for which we are doing this, is because we want a um, um, each row in our list view to be a little more complicated or complex than just the uh, uh, text. So let's do that first. Let's create a um, a new layout. Okay, uh, let's call it my complex layout okay so we can un we understand what exactly we want okay and this um, new layout we want to have on the left side two rows one on top of the other one with the name the other one with the description and on the right side of the uh, of the layout, we want a picture. So this is what we have. We have a relative layout. Under underneath that one, or inside of that one, we have a linear layout that has the first linear layout is vertical, and it's going to have two views: the text, the first text view, which is the name. The second text view, which is going to be the description. <clears throat> and we close that linear layout. And if right here the image is going to be right underneath <clears throat> the, uh, the first linear layout, actually to the right of the linear layout, parent right, true. Okay. And if we go to the designer, you can see what we have here. Okay, so if we show the components, you can see <coughs> that we have the medium text at, on top, the small text below that one. This is our linear layout, and this is our relative layout, and this is the picture. So now that we have defined what each each one of our rows is going to look like, let's go to the main layout and include the text on top that we were talking about. You remember we wanted a text view at the very top and we wanted a picture right next to it, an image. So let's get an image, an image view, okay, and uh, right underneath those two we want a list view. Okay, so let's go to source Okay, so let's change the name of list view to LV pics. The image, let's call it image. And uh, text view, let's call it text header. Okay, actually, what we can do is we can add another linear layout to put these two 
uh, one right next to the other, one to the right of the other. And probably the easiest is going to be to add another linear lay, uh, layout and put them in there and just uh, make it go vertical. So if we add a linear linear layout okay we want a horizontal linear layout and then we go to source and we put it in the right in the right spot okay. so it included in here so what we want to do is put this linear layout at the very top right underneath this the other one we don't close it here we close it right after the image view Let's see if it liked it. Okay, it didn't like something. Okay, let's uh, go image header and um, to the new linear layout. Let's see if it looks good. And now it looks good. So we have the <coughs> large text, the picture, and uh, this is our uh, list view. Okay. So now that we have this, so I want you to understand exactly what's going on. In our list view, we're going to have rows, and we need to define the layout of each one of the rows when it is not just a plain um, uh, uh, text like in the previous example okay so each one of the rows in the main layout is going to look like this okay so this is what we're going to do the fr uh, there are a couple of things that are different from our uh, previous example one of them is that we do have a layout resource so we have to make a reference to it in here and let's find our um, our or get a reference to each one of our objects okay so we have the uh, uh, text header the uh, image header we find them as text view and an image view, and uh, these are the resources. The uh, again, let me show you the little trick on how to resolve this squiggly uh, red line underneath the ID. If you go to your resources folder and you open up the resource designer, which is a uh, it's code generated by a tool. It normally updates itself. In this case, it didn't. Uh, let me make sure that uh, the names. Oh, you know what? If there is an error on the um, something that it doesn't like, it doesn't do the refresh of the resource designer. Let me figure it out. Okay, nothing major. I just um, uh, closed the solution, reopened it, and uh, it refreshed all of all of the references. So we are fine now. So let's um, put values on the header and the Im the text header and the image header, so we can see something on top of our view. Okay, there. Something very, very important is that uh, we have to create our own adapter. You remember in the previous example, the, there's a, a property of the list adapter 
I'm sorry, the list activity uh, called list adapter that uh, we uh, define in there. Here we have to do, we have to do something different. We have to uh, create a new adapter. What we need to do is create a new class. Main screen adapter. Okay. Okay, this is going to be let's make it public adapter and it inherits from base adapter of type our my data which we don't have a, a access to but that is not a problem let's see if we can fix it right here quick actions use list view example services. So now we have access to my data. There are four methods that we need to override. Okay, so we go list of type my data. Let's call it items. Okay. Context. Let's define a context. Yeah. And now, main screen adapter that will take an activity. Context. And <coughs> our list of items or the array that we have of type my data that we are calling items okay and right here we instantiate Context as the context that's coming in. And our items <coughs> as the items that are coming in. Okay. So now, that's the end of that one. So now we need to override get item ID public override get item get item ID is one that we need to override. Actually, let me tell you which ones they are, and then I will pause the video so you don't have to watch me type. Okay, the other one is public override my data. This, okay. Here, let's uh, implement it ourselves. Here, what we want is okay. I wanted to just to tell you which ones they are. I'm not implementing yet, and uh, the others are count. So public override integer, and it's count. Okay. Implement that 
separately. And the last one and the most important one, let me just put the header public override. This one returns a view. And it's a get view. Okay. So let me pause the video and uh, populate the, the top ones. And I'll be right back. I just realized that uh, I'm using the same name for the in incoming uh, parameter over here. So there's going to be confusion. So let's change this to my items. OK. So my items will be items. This is going to return the my items in that position. In the method that we are overriding, the first thing we do is we uh, we get the um, item that we are working with that that is going to go into this view, and uh, we get it by its position. So now we have my item is of type my data. And it is the one that is coming, that it's defined by this uh, position uh, parameter. Now we want a view. Let's call it view. That is going to to be the uh, the convert view. So if um, It may be no, it may not, so we can recycle it. So we check if it is no. If the view is no, so if it is no, we need to in, uh, inflate it. So context layout inflator inflate, and then we find resource layout and then we find our complex layout which is the one that we are going to be using for the what we're doing so no and lastly we populate inside of the view find by view type each one of the components of our uh, in our main layout. Okay, so the first one is a text view. Resource ID. And now we have text header. That text. And we're going to give it from my item my item name okay then let's go with the picture and it's not text header right here it is text name okay now let's go with the description find view by ID which is also a text view with a resource ID of text description text and we're going to populate it with what my item has as description and the last one is going to be the the image so we do the same thing view find by ID it is an image view okay with a resource ID I guess we call it image yes and we're gonna set its resource 
set image resource to to what the my item that picture ID tells us and then we would return the view now let's get a handle on our list view so let's create a new object just a list view with resource ID of list view picks and uh, let's define its adapter as a main screen adapter okay and we give it a, the context and we need to provide it with the with our data that we're going to get right here so so we need to using this view complex that services and then we instantiate my services let's call it the service Let's get my list of my data. Let's call it my items. The service that get my data. to resolve this using system generic system collections generic so now this is the information that we're passing in into the adapter the main screen adapter And uh, we can add an item click to our list view. List view, item click, sender, arguments, let's call it E. Using this lambda expression makes things a lot easier. Here's where we have we can do anything we want at this point we can let's create a toast so it will tell us what we touched how's that toast make text the context is this and let's um, it is expecting a um, it could be the text string text so let's give it my items with position that's coming in the e arguments and of that we want the description okay and we want a duration those lengths Let's make it short and let's show it. And that's it. Let's test it, see what we see.
and as you can see we get our list we get a text at the top a not very good looking developer screenshot and our list view underneath with uh, the names descriptions and the pictures of very pretty people I hope uh, you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next video